Hi guys, it's Mariana here. Today it's a lovely day out. It's sunny, it's a bit windy and a bit cold, but I just wanted to be outside and enjoy my time here. Come here, baby. I thought I could give you some poetry recommendations. I watch a lot of those videos and they can start being a little repetitive. Um, and I just know there's a lot of authors out there, not just traditionally published authors but indie authors that deserve some love and yeah uh, I'm gonna do a couple of these videos so I hope you enjoy and if just let's just get started um, this the first book I'm going to talk about is Dear Judas by Melissa Jennings I was lucky enough to win their giveaway and it got here so fast that I read it in 20 minutes I think but uh, it has such lovely poems and that I could relate a lot to. So I thought I could read you one or two so you could see how they read amazing poetry. The first poem goes like this. When your parents named you, did they know that they were naming a constellation? They looked at how you glowed, not how you were surrounded by darkness. And the second poem is a bit longer, but it's so lovely. Your kiss was rough, callous hands brushing against my skin. Your lips were weapons, and I the target. When we kissed for the first time, it was a battle that we didn't know we had to fight. Battling for breath, bruising our hearts for each other. And no matter what we wanted, this love was no man's land. Again, their name is Melissa Jennings, and I'm going to leave their social media, social media handles down below so you can check all these authors out. The second poet I'm going to talk about is this lovely girl called Cheyenne Rain. She's such a lovely person, so nice, so friendly, and she has a book called Maroon Day Dreams. She has a couple of books actually, Maroon Day Dreams and Charcoal Thunderstorms. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but she has this book that I need to, I, that I read to myself every couple of days because it's just so lovely. And it's called Time is Soft. You deserve early sunrises to pour past your curtains, the kind of light that kisses you and reminds you that time is soft. Again, it's called Maroon Daydreams by Shy and Rain. The third book I'm going to talk about, it's called We Carry the Sky by Michaela Robin. Um, that was probably my the first book I, a poetry book that I read because I wanted to. And it was so amazing and I I think you should totally check it out. And there's a couple of poems that I think you should hear. The first one is, I have grown poems like wildflowers from the wounds that for years would not close up. I'm a writer and a poet, so when I read that one, it just, I related so much to it that I thought a lot of poets and writers out there would too. And the second poem is, Fest and hope to your hair like a ribbon, until it catches a gust of wind and carries you to all the wild shores you did not dare to go before. The last book I'm going to talk about, it's a book called Calopsia by Andrew Michel. It's probably my fa favorite poetry book ever, and so I thought I, you should hear one of her poems. I stored her memory within glass, and every so often I shake awake just to see Shreds of heart storm over, a beautiful tragedy. She comes back just in time to keep our best from settling. See her smile into the glass while she winds me up. Her favorite song, the same one drowning me, only for a moment. As you can see, there are a lot of lovely, amazing, I, I always say the same words, but they're amazing authors out there that don't get the same love as some traditionally published authors and I want to empower that. Those are some of the authors I love to read so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to please subscribe and yeah I'll catch you in my next video. Bye! Say bye! Bye! Bye guys!